I take it off the lathe, hopefully without dropping it. I've done that before. Hiya, it's Wendy here again from Team Pitchcraft and I hope you're doing okay. Today I'm going to be doing a project with resin in a block. Now a lot of people put things in resin like Nick Sometti and Doug from Pole Barn. They put wood and other items into resin and turn it. And I'm planning to do kind of the same. So when I was walking around a local range shop, I found these. Now these are, that's a pot puree. Let me turn it around so you've got the label. It's rustly. That's a pot puree, which is a Christmas colour one. And this one was split, so I've got it a little bit cheaper, 10% off. And this is all types of wood. And it's all dry, and there's mushrooms in there as well. And I, it's all dry. Now, when you put things in resin, it needs to be dry, completely dry. So I'm going to have a go at making something with these. <laughs> Anyway, let's see how I get on. So I'm starting off with a microwavable container and a waste piece of wood in the bottom. I'm also going to put this red wood that I have. It's pretty red wood. I don't know what type it is. It's split down the middle and is useless for anything else really. So I thought I'd put it into the middle to save on resin and bits of it may stay in the piece that I turn. These are the pieces that I'll be putting into the resin. And I'm going to be using Vuba Vista Ocean for this. Now Vuba is a 48 hour cure resin, the, the ocean version. It's deep pour resin so I know that I can do seven centimeters roughly on depth. Now I do have the wood in there as well and the pieces so that all takes up the volume as well so hopefully I'm measuring out the right amount of resin. I am doing 360 of part A and 180 of part B and I'm pouring the part A on top of the part B. When you mix in large volumes you don't want sticky mess in the bottom of your cup. So if you pour part A onto part B then it's more likely to mix properly. But you always should mix slowly, scrape the bottom and the sides. Now I'm going to use tropical blue from the soapery was one of my colours. I'm planning on three colours in this. If you have too many colours in resin you can it can go muddy, it can go brown, it can go horrible so two or three colours is perfect for a push. And this is Snow White Mica Powder. I'll put all the links in the description below of everything I've used. Most of it is purchased from Amazon or Etsy and obviously Vuba from the Vuba site. All the links will be below. This is Snow White that I purchased from a box set from Amazon. So my plan was to have a really bright shimmering white. But it wasn't mixing that well so I decided to put some Vuba Vista white in it. That was a bad mistake for me. It went matte, completely matte. That Vuba Vista is so pigmented it took over completely, there was no shimmer. I decided to change it later for a green instead. So this is a blue that I got from a Sahara set from Resin Pro. Again, links will be in the description below. So both the blues have a beautiful shimmer to them, but the white doesn't. So I decide to halve it out to separate it and put some emerald green that is from Cosmetic Pigments on Etsy and try and give it a shimmer that way. Now, that didn't really work either, but I didn't want to waste the resin. So I kept going. And I ended up with a really matte, dull green, but I figured, you know what, I'm going to use it anyway. I'll put it at the bottom, you won't see it. Because I'd mixed it up, I had to use it. Those blues are gorgeous though. So I'm starting here by just mixing in a couple of colours. I put the red wood in the centre and I start pouring in the different colours. I do keep some of the white and this is where I start adding the pieces. So I just keep adding and adding and adding, pouring a bit more resin and adding pieces, sticks, you name it, what comes out of that bag. I want them all in there. Pour a bit more resin over and a bit more sticks and a bit more white and so on and so forth. And yeah, eventually I fill it up. 
So this is Talk Over Wendy. Now as Talk Over Wendy is a bit behind with the preparation of these videos, I'm recording this just a couple of days before I put it up and I've just hit 4K subscribers. I cannot thank you guys enough for following me, for sharing, for commenting, for everything you do. You're brilliant, you lot. You really are. Thank you so much for supporting my channel. I'm going to be doing a giveaway. It won't be this week. It might be next week, but it will be coming up soon. Going back to the video, you can see I'm jamming bits in at the top. Now I did put this in the pressure pot for 48 hours and it came up very short. There was more bits in it than there was resin at the top. So I made a contrast in blue and I filled the mold up completely. 48 hours later and it's time to demold. Now you can see there's two totally different colours there, but I quite like that. The green is at the bottom. It actually came out more shimmery than I thought it would. I take the top of the wood off, I put it on my lathe and I start to turn it. Now at this point I have absolutely no idea what I'm turning. I just thought it, it would take me somewhere. It would take me somewhere and I would figure out what I was going to turn while I was doing it. It was quite messy. I'm no expert at turning. I really am not. I am a definite new turner. I use carbide tools on my record power Coronet Herald lathe. I use easy wood carbide tools with negative rake tips and this is a rougher and I'm just taking it down seeing the bits and pieces come through as you take off the outside resin is so much fun but I like I said I'm a new turner and as a new turner I wanted to get rid of the waste block of wood at the bottom and I wasn't quite sure what I wanted to be the top and the bottom so I ended up putting a mortise on the end with the waste block so I could turn it round and put a mortise on the other end and then turn it round and get rid of the waste block. I think that was too many mortises there and too many turns. I don't think I needed to do that many. I just got totally confused with what was up and what was down. I ended up with a mortise at both ends, but it is fine. It worked out okay in the end. I got rid of the waste block. Although why I put that in there in the first place, I'm a bit confused. I'm not sure. I think it was just to give a solid base for the red wood to sit on I think that's what it was but it's quite nice to see the waste block disappear and the resin to be behind it it's also worth mentioning here that I am wearing a full face mask and a respirator through the entire process of this now this is where I start shaping it and I decided at this point that I'm going to make a small bowl out of this and this was going to be the base of the bowl so again I have to make another mortise before I can turn it round so yeah, I'm learning all the time with this. I am no expert. I've now got a finishing tool to try and smooth out the edges and to make it sand sandable so it's all nice and straight. Most of this is sped up to speed times 20. So it's easier for you to watch and you can hopefully enjoy it a little bit more. Don't forget, it's free to subscribe and if you haven't done already, it, it does help my channel out and ring that notification bell so you know when I upload. And this is where I show you the pieces that are coming through this. Now there's lots of holes, there's lots of air pockets and I decide to fill them with super glue. So I'm just showing you here that I, that's the biggest hole there is. I'm going to fill them with super glue before I sand the whole thing down. So now I've turned it round, I've sanded the outside, it's all nice and shiny and I'm going to take the middle out. So I use a force and a bit, or several actually, I'll go up in stages because it's quite tough. And now I'm hollowing out the bowl as best I can. This is tough going, this is really hard work. Now I didn't show you the outside being sanded and polished because that can be a little tediously boring to be honest with you but I'm going to show you a little bit of the inside so don't worry. This is hard work for me. Hollowing out this pot bowl, whatever you want to call it, is hard going. The tool rest isn't the best because I'm having trouble locating it into where I need it to be and I'm, I'm really struggling. I've never done anything this deep before hollowing it out and especially with resin. So once I actually eventually get there then the sanding comes. I started at 120, I ended up at 400 and at 400 I use Yorkshire Grit 
Yorkshire grit is amazing stuff and it's like a wet sanding system. If you haven't heard of Yorkshire grit, it's amazing. Once I used Yorkshire grit, then I use Yorkshire grit microfine and that is particularly good for resin. So Yorkshire grit will take you up to about 1000 grit and Yorkshire grit microfine takes you to about 2000. So Yorkshire grit, Yorkshire grit microphone and then I use micro crystalline wax from chestnut products. Again, amazing product. You put it on, you let it dry and then you buff it off. Beautiful stuff. Perfect for resin. This isn't the only way to shine up and sand resin, but it is the way I do it most of the time. And yeah, it's the products I have. And once I'm done, I take it off the lathe, hopefully without dropping it. I've done that before. Well, I really enjoyed making that. I'm still new to turning, but I really, really enjoyed it. And it's a lot of fun learning. And although it took me a long time to hollow that out, I kept going out to the garage and then come back in and going out and then coming back in. It was quite hard going, but it was still fun. I love the way it's come out. The two-tone color wasn't my first choice, but I think it worked out really well. And the design and all the pieces in there really worked together. My favorite bit is the mushroom, I think. I think it's absolutely gorgeous. Anyway, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think of this. I hope you've enjoyed watching this one. Come back and see me next week because you never know what I'm gonna be up to. Have a great week, happy crafting. I'll put up some stills. Bye for now.